Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna do all things Trader Joe's. I have not been to Trader Joe's in, in a long, long time. time. Um, and as you guys know, it is pumpkin season, so it's pumpkin everything at Trader Joe's. Um, I'm pretty sure the Trader Joe's at uh, close to me does not have all of the pumpkin things, so I just got what was available. Yeah! You ready? Let's so the first thing is some pumpkin O's. Let's open it up and try it. I'm excited because I tried Cheerios before and I didn't like it. But then I tried Cheerios again but this, and I liked it. This looks like Cheerios. How does it smell? So good. You could smell the pumpkin spice. I didn't try these last year and I know that they had them. Good? Mm -hmm. Not bad because it just tastes like plain old cereal that has a little cinnamon heat touch to it, right? It's a lot crunchier than Cheerios. Yeah. It is. And I think it's because of the brown rice in there. But it's very crunchy. It's not too sweet. I got too sour. I like these. Me too. Yeah? I'm going to have these for breakfast tomorrow. You don't get that pumpkin taste too strong. Yeah. You get more of a cinnamon, cinnamon taste. Yeah. More towards the end of it. So I did get this haunted house for her to decorate for Halloween. Um, I saw these last year and wanted to get it. And then when I got to the store, they didn't have them again. So when I saw it, they literally just had a couple on the shelf, so I grabbed it up so she can have a little something to do for Halloween. And on the back of it, it shows you what you have right here. So we have like the gingerbread cookies and it's a chocolate flavor. So yay, I love chocolate. Comes with bones, candy bones, candy bats, jelly beans, mini beads candy, and then two bats of icing. And then we got the instructions how to build it. So mm -hmm. we got the base, and then we put all the gingerbread cookies together. And then the fun part is to decorate it. And then what you do after? Eat it. Yeah. We break it and eat it. So something quite random. I always get the onion what? salt at Trader Joe's. I, I love keeping this on hand because it is delicious. When I'm using that, I don't really use salt in whatever I'm cooking because that is, of mm. course, salt. So the other thing is my favorite toasted coconut, coconut granola, granola bar. bar. So this is a crunchy granola layered with dark chocolate and sprinkled with toasted coconut chips. Mm -hmm. um, it is very high in calories. So this is not something that I would sit down and eat as a snack, but a little piece can go a very long way, I'm sure. Or maybe just a little piece crumbled. Um, on top of so yogurt nice. but they are uh, pretty big the chunks are pretty big in here how does it taste good but i got most of the chocolate taste the granola you can taste it yeah it's good mm -hmm. it is good mm. So, mm, actually, it's really good. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. It looks like a um, pop tart. That's a cake. And it is organic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is really good. Yeah. I can tell because she likes it. You have to buy this guy to have to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other thing I got is some pumpkin, pumpkin waffles. waffles. These, I had these last year and they were pretty good. I like them. And this is the nutrition facts. So it's not bad at all. So two is 180 calories and you still get four grams of protein, 26 carbs. You do get some fat in there, which is six grams, but it's only three grams of sugar, which I love. And I get to try because I have some right here. So she has one here. It toasts up pretty nicely. Oh, 
Honestly, this looks pretty good. And then I got this maple syrup that's aged in a bourbon barrel, which mm. I'm excited to try. Let's see if I can. A lot darker than your maple that. syrup. Just put a little bit. This maple syrup is more on the pricier side. It was $10 for the bottle. But again, you don't get this every year, so. Smell good? It smells like... I don't like the smell of it. It smells kind of weird. I think it's because of it's aged in a bourbon barrel. That's why it smells like that, but let's see how it tastes. It does have that strong <laughs> bourbon flavor. But to me, it smells but like vinegar. Does it smell like vinegar to you? It's not bad. It's just something that a little bit will go a very long way mm -hmm. when you're baking. Yeah. So maybe a tablespoon or two in a muffin batter or cake batter or something like that, it will probably give it a different taste, but it's not bad. It's just okay. Mm. So guys, you wanna know the best thing out of all of these so far? What? The cereal. So far in this group, we're, I uh, like the cereal. So far, uh huh, and then the waffles, of course. Love it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. You want another one? Yeah. Oh, I think that chocolate bar that we tried. Mhm. Mm so you like everything so far? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the next thing I got for her is these Jojo -Jo cookies. Halloween Jojos. Jojo. Um, -Jo. I guess the frosting inside of the cookie is just orange, and it's shaped like little Halloween pumpkins. Taste it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're gonna be all sugared up. <laughs> this is how it looks. It looks. It's very pretty. It's pretty and cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm very scared to try this. Okay, so like the cookie is a chocolate flavor, just like um, Oreos. It's good. And yeah. It's not too sweet, which I like. I've had the pumpkin ones, and that's why I didn't pick it up this time, because I had it last year, and it was super, 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 super sweet. It was so sweet that it just literally stayed in my refrigerator and ended up in the trash, because it was overpowering. It was just too sweet. This is not too sweet, which is very surprising, but it's good. Mm. It's not Oreos, mm -hmm. but it's good. Mine, these are orange. Mm -hmm. mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. This thing is so good. All these sweets and it's stuff. It's a lot of sweet stuff. So yeah. I got okay. her the hot cocoa mix. This is the organic hot cocoa mix. Just add water, or you can probably do almond milk or regular milk. Nom, 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 Friday, Saturday, so, Sunday. more sweet. Yay! Oh, oh yeah. More sweet. More sweet. sweet. These are yummy. So, this is the cocoa baton wafer cookies. Two is 110 calories. I didn't see the pumpkin one. They had this one and the vanilla. But no pumpkin. I can't, ooh. ooh. So this is what it looks like. They're long. I'll give you this one that I pulled out. And the inside. Ooh, the chocolate is soft. Yeah. Here. I'm just gonna like, hmm. 
Yeah, the chocolate. The chocolate is soft. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. Really good. <laughs> the other thing I got was this cinnamon bun spread. I'm not gonna Try open it. this right now. Um, but I've heard that it tastes like the inside part of a cinnamon roll. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Um, chocolate thingy is the reason why I like it is because it has like a chocolate um in the edges to like a fill in, but mm -hmm. in the inside after the chocolate just hollow is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had to buy it. Okay, I bought it a couple of times. Already. I know. And then the other <laughs> thing is this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. I got um, this because I figured you would like it. I love bread and Because you seem pumpkin. to like a lot of pumpkin stuff. Yeah, because I eat pumpkin. So moving on. So I got this organic oh, garlic naan crackers. Can I try it? I just love crackers with tuna, chicken salad, or cheese, cheese, or having it alone with coffee. coffee. I just, I love crackers. Me too. Can you try it? Yeah. This it looks looks like it shapes you like You can hearts. see the seasonings. It smells good too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is good. I don't taste any flavor in this, but that's like because it. you probably had all that sweet. What does it taste like? Cracker. Yeah. It's not strong. No. With the garlic flavor at all. It's very, very mild. The cracker okay. is nice and crunchy too. I want more. Then we have chips. This jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puff. Can I have it? You can try it, it might be spicy. I have a I thought it was like a some sort of chip. <laughs> it looks like a little puff. It feels very light. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's back in red. It's spicy, but it's good. It's good. It's good. You taste the spice after. Yeah. It's like lingering on your tongue. <laughs> oh, where are you going? <laughs> um, but it's not overpowering. This is something that can really satisfy uh, craving when I'm feeling for something nice and salty and spicy and the calories is half a cup which is around 30 grams and it's 150 calories it is high in fat nine grams and you do have 17 grams of carbs one gram of protein and less than one gram of sugar it's so spicy oh it's still spicy on my tongue so <laughs> It's like, you know how you like spread a peanut butter on the, a peanut butter and jelly on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Mm -hmm. And you miss spots? Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like right now. It's like smeared. <laughs> and I got this vanilla bean paste. I always get this. Um, they had literally one left and I picked it up. Usually I would pick up three and four because I love, love, love using this. Love, and love, I would love, use love, this love. throughout the year. Yeah. It's nice and thick. And it's a lot more inexpensive than buying the actual vanilla bean, which could be super expensive. So it's like the best of both worlds. You get like that vanilla extract and vanilla bean kind of combined because you do have that vanilla bean mm -hmm. speckles inside of this as well. It is so flavorful. It's delicious. And I love baking with it. And the next thing that is my favorite peanut butter. It is a mixed nut butter. So this one has... Almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnut, and pecans. <laughs> oh my gosh. That spiciness thing is like... It's still lingering? Yeah, it's, it's like that's going to stay for the whole video. Oh, I see so, my favorite thing. The there. other thing we got is two candles. <laughs> this one is oh, this vanilla pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shanice, it is scented. 
But the flavor is vanilla pumpkin. Oh my gosh, look at what it looks like. It just smells mm. so good. I got this last year and I love the way that it had the entire house smelling. And this one is what? Honey crisp apple. Your favorite apple, honey crisp. Yeah. Ooh. Does it smell good? It smells good. Oh, it smells like, it smells like exactly the same. It smells like honey. And then after you smell the honey, it smells like candles. And I got the buddy butter. This is the pumpkin buddy butter. Um, I'm not going to open it and rub it on my skin now because I have to shower. Um, but when I do, I will report back and let you guys know if I like the smell and how it feels on my skin. And then I got a couple little pumpkins because they just look so beautiful when you walk into Trader Joe's and you just have to buy them because they're just so cute and adorable and it's good for decorations and they last a really, really, really long time. Can I get some? Whoa! Can you get some more? So cute! I love pumpkins! Hi everyone! Today we are doing a video on she's getting the freezer stuff of the pumpkin bees in. So yeah! So I'm going to show you guys some of the freezer Freezer's stuff. Down. I know I showed you the waffles before, but that's just because I was heating up a couple for my daughter. Um, so I did get this corn, the organic sweet corn. This is the only frozen corn that I actually love. The taste of the corn is, Good. is beyond anything else I have tasted um, frozen corn wise. It is just so sweet. It's delicious. It just cooks up beautifully. And it it, is, it just has that perfect, sweet, mellow, just delicious taste. Um, I used to get the organic one from Whole Foods. Um, but after trying Trader Joe's frozen corn, it's like the best thing ever. Mm. Best frozen corn ever. Ever. When we say ever, we mean it. The other thing is this asparagus risotto I got to try. I've had the mushroom one and it is delicious. The smell of it was not too pleasing to my nose, but after eating it, it was delicious. I love it. Um, so I got this asparagus one. I think I would probably toss in some mushrooms in it as well. Probably cook it on the side and then fold it in the risotto once it's done. And I could probably add some protein to it as well. So I did pick up the orange chicken, which we love. It's something that comes together in no time. And especially if, you know, you don't know what to eat for lunch or dinner, you just pop this in the oven. You have some jasmine rice on the side with it. You cook up some veggies really quick and you have a delicious meal. And then the next thing we got is some French toast. And you Brioche see... French toast. I got this for your daddy. Oh, and you can see there's... Because he can, loves French toast. Yeah, but I love French toast. Remember our trip and I asked for a piece I of French toast? I can't remember. And you did? there's some sides. Yeah. Oh, actually. no, it wasn't French toast. That was just regular toast. Oh. This is um, the bread that is dipped into milk and egg and sugar. Mm -hmm. And then it's cooked on the stovetop on the griddle. Yeah. You can try it. I want to try it. Mm -hmm. And then... I uh, got some puff pastry because I just always keep this in my my freezer. And then the next thing you got is some... What is this? Ooh, chocolate lava cake. This is your favorite. <laughs> this is her favorite. So I always, when I go to Trader Joe's, I always grab a box of this. We usually split one. When I cook one up, both of us would actually sit down and enjoy it together. And the last thing is the pumpkin, spicy pumpkin samosas. I love, love, love the chicken one in this. Um, I didn't pick that one up, but I picked up this pumpkin one um, thinking it might be delicious. Can you um, try it? I have to look at the ingredients and see if you could try it because if there's beans in here, I cannot. you cannot. Or peas, peas or mm. Beans or fish yeah, or I'll have to look at it up. I'll have to read it up a little bit more. So that is the end. That is it. That is the end of our Trader Joe's yeah. haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. I actually enjoyed tasting the stuff. stuff. It was 
delicious. delicious. It was really delicious. And I will report back delicious. on this pumpkin buddy butter. Buddy butter. A lot of people say that it's good. Yeah. It's not too strong. strong. So I am hoping that it's not strong because strong. I used to love that Bath and Body Works <laughs> lotion and the Victoria's Secret lotion. But for some strange reason, like I feel like I get headaches when I use certain ones that are just so overpowering in the scent. Um, but other than that, you keep smelling the, the candle. I can't smell the scent from the cover. So I will report back on this uh, pumpkin buddy butter and let you guys know how it felt on my skin once I take a shower and lotion up and hit the bed. And guys, comment down below which candle is your favorite. Is it my favorite, the honey crisp apple? And this one's my favorite too. Then vanilla. Vanilla pumpkin. This one is my most favorite. This one is my least favorite. So I want you to You like the vanilla down. pumpkin more? Yeah. Because please, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. And let us know what type of and videos subscribe. you'd like us to do. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I love doing grocery hauls. I love sharing recipes with you guys. And I just love sharing my love for food. And I'm also on a little weight loss journey. So if you want to see more of that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I share what I'm eating throughout the day and I share a lot more recipes over there as well because it's just so much easier to post over there and I don't have to sit down and like edit the video that takes hours and to put up on YouTube. And we're gonna try to put a poll which one you like best. And yeah. we're gonna see which one you guys like best. All right guys, so thank you so much, so much again for, for watching. watching. I'll see you guys in the next, the next one. one. Bye. So a little report on the pumpkin body butter. Um, first up, it's super thick and it instantly like it melts into my If you look at it, it is bouncy. It's thick. It smells delicious. Um, it's very pleasant. It's not overpowering. I love the fact that they have this little clip on lid. You know, usually these body butters come with, you have to screw it on. This way, it's it's easy. You just flip it, and then after your hand, your hand is like all creamy, slippery. You don't have to struggle screwing it back on. It's literally just snap. So this, I definitely um, are probably going to be getting Trader Joe's body butter from now on because I actually really love it. It is amazing and there were actually two items that i did forget to show you guys um that i got because when i got everything from trader joe's i came home and i put everything away and then i decided a few days later to do the haul with my daughter so the first let me see if i can pull it out um the first thing is this uh, apple pie, little mini apple pies, I guess. What did they call it? Apple blossoms, fully baked. They just looked delicious. It's like a ultimate treat. So, and I know my husband loves anything apple pie, so I know he's going to enjoy it. Um, these come with two little pies. So I probably, I'm not gonna eat a whole one, or maybe I will, because why not? It's a treat. Uh, for one, it's 330 calories. And then, the other thing was these breaded chicken tenderloins. Um, I love using these uh, to make sandwiches. Um, you can do, just air fry them and eat them with fries. Um, if you air fry them and you toss it in a little bit of buffalo sauce, that goes really well with it. And you put it in a, a little sandwich. Um, for one piece, it's 130 calories but that one piece is pretty big. It's it's wide, so it can fit into a good size sandwich. And if you load it up with um, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onion, mushrooms, bell peppers, stuff like that in the sandwich, it just bulks it up and folds you and tastes really good. So that was it. 
that was just like my little uh, two things that I forgot. So that is it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.